Should you be getting an alignment when you change your shocks? Well, as with most things, the answer is it depends. Essentially, as long as things like your ride height, control arm length and control arm position remain the same, alignment should be unchanged. So if you have a vehicle with independent springs and shocks and you just change your shocks, well, if it's out of alignment, you can't blame that shock change. Where things get a little tricky are on applications that use a coilover strut or where basically the shock and the spring are mounted together and working together. Since these struts or coilovers are carrying the weight of the vehicle, they're also defining ride height, which means they can also adjust ride height. There are ride height adjustable coilovers and struts that can either give you some lift or lower your vehicle. And if ride height is changing at all, well, so is your alignment. So you'll need to hop on that alignment rack. Now, if you're able to keep ride height exactly the same with your coilover or strut change and you were in alignment before, well, you probably won't need an alignment again. But if you're replacing a worn out set of factory struts for another factory replacement, although both are supposed to be stock height, you might see a little bit of ride height change and might need that alignment. As your suspension ages and wears, your vehicle will gradually lose height. Although spring sag is generally negligible on most factory coilover strut setups, wear and squish on things like your spring seat insulators or even bushings is much more prevalent and makes a really big difference in ride height. If let's say the combined thickness of the insulator underneath and on top of your springs is just around an inch and over the years it is compressed down to a total of about a half inch a half inch decrease in preload in the assembly could equate to as much as a one inch ride height loss on a lot of applications so if your vehicle has been aligned at any point from being brand new to worn out you probably are going to have to align it again because now you are back to where it was when it was brand new now if you've never aligned your vehicle technically nothing will have changed and you would be in spec in a perfect world with just a complete strut change but chances are if you've made it that long without getting alignment you're pretty well due for a tune-up in that department However, just like your suspension sags as it wears out, it also will ride a little high until everything breaks in. So it's important to at least do a little driving before you go and get your alignment. And how far you have to drive before everything's all ready to be aligned kind of depends on the coilover you are running. Struts using OE type mounts and insulators and are bushed on both ends generally need as much as 50 to 100 miles before they have settled in the springs have bedded into the seats. But on true body coilovers, particularly ones that use spherical bearings at the lower mounts, well, you just kind of take it around the block a couple times, hit a couple bumps, and you're ready for that alignment. In most cases, springs are tested to verify they're within spec in terms of rate, so there's not a lot of breaking in you need to do there. So basically, what you're doing is ensuring those springs and everything soft are bedding into the seats and where they're supposed to be. If you ain't got rubber to bed in, well, you ain't got a lot of driving to do before you need that alignment.